Good morning. Good morning. Although I don't know when you're going to see this video, but it is uh, it's close to noon now. Okay. I slept in this morning and then I thought, let me get on up and get dinner started. It's going to be a real simple dinner. I'm not preparing a whole lot, y'all, because you know, Thanksgiving is right around the corner, right? Okay. So I'm going to try to keep it simple for these next few weeks leading up into Thanksgiving because I'm going to actually start prepping um, some things for Thanksgiving that I will share with you. Okay. But today what I'm doing yesterday, I went out to Sam's and I bought these. I've never bought it like this before, but it's beef chuck steaks. Okay. I was actually looking for a beef chuck roast. But what they did was they took and they cut these really thin. Okay, so what I'm doing, let me show you. Let's get down here. Let's get down here. Okay, I am rinsing them off, putting them on a little cutting board, and I'm going to cut them. Okay, it was three of them. I'm going to cut them about that big. Okay, I'm going to sear these off. I won't, I won't. Put that on camera, y'all, because y'all don't see me sear meat too many times, right? And this is a piece of fat in here that I'll cut off. But I'm going to cut them up just like this, you see. And I'm going to sear them off. I'm going to sear my little vegetables that, that I have. And it's the same vegetables I, I normally use. Um... Uh, bell pepper, onion, garlic, celery, and I'm going to use some fresh thyme, of course. But I'm going to cut these up, get them seared up, and then I'm going to come back. We're going to put these in the oven. Now, chuck, when you use uh, cooking chuck beef, it's got to cook because it can be tough, okay? It can be tough. So this is going to braise in the oven. That's what I'm doing today. I'm not cooking it on top of the stove in the oven for about three hours two and a half to three three hours okay but when i get this going i will be back all right y'all i came back real quick because i kind of want to take you through all of the steps okay if you've never seen my videos just kind of want to take you through the steps um i've seasoned my meat and see how big i cut it it's just easier for me to handle rather than those big pieces that they had so I've seasoned it all over. I'm going to put just a smidgen of flour on this and I'm going to get them on the stove and I'm going to sear them. Okay. That easy. All right, y'all. I'm going to take this pan should be hot. I got my Dutch oven because it's going in the oven, right? Although you could cook in this on top of the stove. I'm just going to put in what looks like a couple of tablespoons of oil. Okay, yeah, it's hot. And I'm going to put a little bit of flour on my meat. And like I said, you just, just need a little bit, coat it lightly. Okay, and I always say this flour is going to help make your gravy in the long run, okay? Because when we put it in the oven, we don't want to have to go, go in there to, to do anything to this meat. When it's done, everything is going to be done. The gravy, everything, okay? And I said I wasn't going to do this on camera, but just for those who haven't seen me sear, okay? And we're just going to put it in that hot grease. And we're going to let it brown up just, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Put some more flour. Pouring it out the bag. I don't want to put my hands in there. Okay. That's how you sear meat, y'all. When I come back, and I don't even know if y'all can see down there in that pot. When I come back, this meat will be seared. All right, y'all. I got my meat out of this pot. I've seared all of it, okay? I've seared it all. Pot trying to burn up on me, but that's okay. So now I'm going to drop in my vegetables. And again, that celery, bell pepper, onions. 
I'm going to drop in my thyme. I got some fresh thyme there. I'm going to drop in some garlic, and I did not cut it up, and it's okay because it's going to cook for a good two and a half, three hours, so it'll break down, okay? That garlic will break down. And we're just going to let these vegetables go a minute or so. Just cutting it up big in here, y'all. And I got three good-sized cloves here. Just trying to get the peeling off. I didn't do that. Okay. Get it in there. Because it is going to cook. And we're going to put our meat right back in here, okay? Just letting them cook a little bit. I want a little bit of this flour that I covered that um, meat with. Now, I don't have beef broth, and it's okay, right? Tell y'all all the time, this food can be cooked in water. It's just in the way you season it up. Now, I have some... Um, better than bouillon beef, but y'all, I can't get, get it open. And my husband is not here, <laughs> but that's all right. I cannot get this open, y'all. Mm -hmm. But I'll season it up another way. Don't worry about it. Yes, and I probably, I know, I got some beef cubes up here somewhere. I just don't know where they are right now. I can always find what I'm not looking for, like vegetable cubes. But it's all good. We'll, we'll get it seasoned up. Okay, we're going to put our meat right on back in here. Sorry about that, y'all. Let's put our meat back in. And when I get this meat back in, I'll be back um, when I figure out what I'm going to put in this water. All right, y'all. I managed to get it open. Okay. Once you open these things, it's like they get stuck. It's not much left in here. I'm going to take about a tablespoon of this. Remember, this stuff has salt in it. Okay. This is the better than bu bouillon beef. Okay. And then I also have to go in here. Because I want it full of flavor, y'all. Not salty, not over seasoned, but some good flavor. I have pulled that down just in case I couldn't get my beef bouillon open. I'm going to also put in, and let me show you, a pack, one pack of beefy onion soup mix. Okay, that's what we're using today. And you see I put my water in there. You want that water to basically cover your meat. Because this meat is going to braise. And in order for it to braise, it has to braise in liquid. Right? And some of those vegetables up from the bottom. Okay? That's it, y'all. This is going into the oven. Alright? And in two and a half, three hours, this will be as tender as butter. Okay, and we'll get with the rest of our meal. All right, y'all, I'm back. And what I'm cooking to go along with uh, that beef that is in the oven, I have some frozen baby limons or butter beans, okay? The green ones. Now, normally, I like to cook dry limas, dry baby limas, but like, like I said, I'm not trying to do a whole lot okay and I don't want to be in here all day now what I did was around the same time I put that meat in the oven I put a ham hock and I want to show you this ham hock I don't know if you can see it I got a big old ham hock in the pot okay and it is tender I, it's been cooking I guess for about an hour and a half y'all look how tender it is it's about to come apart so I need to go ahead on and drop my beans now it has a little bit of meat in there from the ham hock and that's some good stuff in there y'all to see season up these baby limas yes 
I got two of these bags, but I think one will be enough for tonight. I'm going to add a little bit more water to this. Okay, and I'm also, just because they're frozen, doesn't mean I don't season them up the same way I season up my dry beans, okay? So I have that ham hock, and I also have some salt pork. Now this salt pork, they cut it really thin. But I'm going to put that in there as well, because I want these beans to have a lot of flavor. Okay, I'm going to put just a smidgen of onion powder just just a smidge don't want a lot I don't like the seasonings to take over my food um I want to put in a little bit of all-purpose this one is right here in my face so I'll use this one here a little bit of all-purpose okay and this is a uh, this is that Greek season and just just giving these beans some flavor um, some black pepper okay and of course we need some salt and that's going to season these up yes they are going to be scrumptious I'm going to put some more water in here now when these beans are done what I'm going to do on the top of these beans is add me some whole okra love okra y'all I love okra um, a lot of times I like to buy it fresh, but it's hard to find fresh, small okra. Okay, because the big ones a lot, a lot of times are, are tough. They're just tough. But usually if you buy it frozen, it's, it's going to be tender. So these will go on top. I need to give uh, these beans a good hour to cook. Let me get some water, y'all, while you're on here. These beans should only take, I'm thinking about an hour. I don't normally cook frozen limas. I mean, I do at times, but not often enough to know how long they're going to take, okay? I'm going to give them an hour. We'll come back, we'll look at them, and we'll add our okra. All right, y'all. I got about a half an hour on that beef. I have my frozen baby limas, and y'all, this is a different pot than I started in, okay? And I'm going to tell you what happened. I almost lost my baby limas. Let me show these to you. They're, they're done now. They are done. See there how beautiful those are? But I decided I was going to mop my kitchen floor while I was cooking. And y'all, if you're new to cooking or you're learning, you're trying to learn how to cook, depend on your nose, okay? Your nose will tell you what is going on with your food, okay? And while I was mopping, I thought I smell something like my beans. And sure enough, I dropped the mop, took off my gloves, and looked at my beans, and they had started scorching. Now, what you do as soon as you smell something burning you get another clean pot you take what you have in the pot that's scorching and put it into another pot now of course you don't scrape up what's scorching you leave that in the pot but you take everything on top of it okay and that's how you salvage something that has started to scorch and this didn't just start it, it scorched but these beans are perfect. They're going to be good. They do not taste burnt and they do not smell burnt. Although the burnt smell is in my house. But that's okay. Okay, so I lost a few beans and, and it, it's all good. It's all good, y'all. But depend on your nose. And you can always take it out of one pot and put it into another. Okay, and save your food. So that's my limas. And I thought about it, y'all, with my okra. I said, you know what? My oldest daughter does not eat okra. Mm -mm, she won't eat it. My grandbaby, her daughter will, but she won't eat okra. So I said, okay, I'm just going to fix it like I would normally fix, fix it on the side. And what I have here in this pot is nothing but butter and onions. Okay? Nothing but butter and onions. Turn my beans down. I don't want them to burn up again because they're they are done. I just changed switched eyes here on the stove. 
So my butter and my onion have sauteed just a little bit. And I'm gonna take and put my okra in, y'all. Yes, put my okra in. Okay, I'm gonna turn it down to a little bit less than a medium. I'm gonna put a little salt on these. Just a little. Hope y'all can see that. I'm gonna put a little pepper on my okra. Cause I can always take and put my okra on top of my beans on my plate, right? But I wouldn't wanna make it where someone else could not eat it. And I put just a drop of water in that okra. Cause you just want it to steam a little bit. Just want it to steam. We are not boiling the okra. Okay, we just want it to steam. That is enough. Okay, and if you want to put any other kind of seasoning on that, you can, of course. I'm going to put a little all-purpose, I guess. Just, just a wee bit. Wee bit. Okay. All right, so dinner is almost done. I have some candy yams in the oven. I didn't make those on camera. Y'all have seen me do candy yams, but I will show you them when they're done. Um, I need to make some rice and cornbread, and we're about ready to eat, y'all. And remember to cover this okra with a lid, because you want it to steam, okay? All right, y'all, this dinner has come together. Uh, my cornbread is in the oven. It'll be done soon, but I wanted to show you this meat, okay? This beef, remember this beef? We, Y'all, look at that gravy. Look at it, y'all. Let me sit that right there. And I want you to come in here and look at this meat and gravy, y'all. This meat cooked for three hours, and I promise you I have not tested it yet until now. Look, y'all, look at that meat. And the gravy, O-M- Gee, I need to get a spoon for that. Let me grab this big spoon right here. Okay, let me grab this spoon. Now, I went in here one time just to be sure the meat was covered with this gravy. Y'all, look, look at that. That is going to be good. See that gravy? It made the gravy itself because we started off with a little bit of flour, okay? Just a little bit of flour. So we have our, and these were called beef chuck steaks, which is just a beef chuck roast and they cut it up thin, okay? I wanna show you, this ain't too hot. My candied yams, look, in that syrup. Yes, yes, yes ma'am and yes sir. I cut them into circles this time. These were fresh sweet potatoes y'all okay boiled them seasoned them up i did not show y'all the finished okra oh yes okay okra and and the onions and butter that's basically all we put in that okay and of course i have some rice that i'm heating up it's rice that that we had in the fridge and you have already seen my baby limas, my frozen baby limas that are almost lost, okay? Yes, and that's that ham hock you see in there. Yes, so we're waiting on our cornbread and this meal will be coming together, y'all. I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna share some with y'all on a plate, okay? And let me show you something that I bought yesterday and I told y'all if you saw my haul, I had never bought it before. <coughs> excuse, excuse me, y'all. I did not make a homemade dessert tonight, okay, or today. Just didn't feel up to doing it. But when I was in Sam's, and no, I don't know anybody from Krusty's, and they don't know me from, from a can of paint. But I'm telling you this because this product is good, okay? So last night, I thought I need something sweet in my life, okay? So since I had bought this, I said, let me try the quick bread. And, and putting it together, it is quick, okay? A couple of eggs, some oil, and some water. 
And my husband and I, so I baked it, had to bake it for like an hour. Okay, my husband and I got into this last night. Now, I did put some cream cheese icing. I keep cans of cream cheese icing in my cabinet. So, I did put some of that on there. Y'all, this bread here is the bomb. We sat up last night, he and I, and we had us a piece. And we was tempted to eat another piece. But I said, no, we're going to save it so we can have it for dessert tonight. Okay, but let's get this plate together, y'all. Look at my plate. Look at that. That's that beef right there. Yes, I got a big piece of it too. And some of the fat. Yes. Look at that beef. How tender it is, y'all. Mmm. Mmm. Melts in your mouth. Melts in your mouth. And the fat that runs through your beef, y'all. Don't cut that out. That helps your beef. Helps to tenderize it. And gives it flavor. Mm, and this has some flavor. Yes, it does, y'all. Mm-hmm. You see, I got me some rice here with some gravy. Mm, 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 mm. Have mercy. That beef has good flavor, y'all. And here I have... Hold, hold on, y'all. Hold, hold on. Y'all want some? Mm. Mm, mm, mm. The gravy is the bomb, too. Here I have my limas. And I have my, see how tender that okra is, y'all? Tender. Okay, just let it steam for a little bit. Uh-huh. Mm. If you don't like okra, I'm sorry. I got me some cornbread here. And of course, I have my candied yams. Love my candy yams with my beef, y'all. See how tender they, they are? I let them cook a long time. Mm, 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 mm. Yes. Yes. Look at that, y'all. Mmm. When I tell you, let's taste these beans since we almost lost them. Let's taste those. You wouldn't know it. You would not know it, y'all. Mmm-hmm. Everything on this plate is good. Okay? Yes, it is. My, my, my. Candy yams are so tender. Mm. Yes, y'all. Y'all, that's another good meal. Okay. Okay. Yes, I'm going to have to call my dinner soul food Sunday. Okay. Yes, because that's what we like to cook and that's what we like to eat. Mm-hmm. Mm. That was a piece of meat out of my llama beans, y'all. And ham hot. Okay. I thank y'all. Again, share my videos, y'all. Please, please, please. Share them if it's just with one person. Share them. Okay. And y'all remember to hit that like button. Mm-hmm. Please. Comment to me as always. And subscribe to my channel if you have not, y'all. Okay? I'm trying not to eat, y'all. I'm trying to talk to y'all, okay? But this food is good. Um, I'll see you real soon on my next video. And I don't think I said, if you haven't subscribed, please uh, consider subscribing, okay? I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.